Good morning from Oklahoma. I have no idea where we're gonna go today. So a few miles uh, west on the freeway, we pulled over to this uh, abandoned gas station because I got an outside shower and the best thing I've noticed for the outside shower is to have uh, like concrete or some kind of gravel or something because otherwise you just get everything a little bit muddy. So this will offer a little privacy the way that I'm parked with the door like so. And uh, yeah, I don't know, if somebody's driving by, you're gonna get a free show in Oklahoma. How was it? It was fantastic. Feel better? Yes. Oh boy, that was amazing. Hot showers are definitely not overrated. <sighs> place that we're stopping by but we are on route 66 and uh, we found this place using the Atlas Obscura website which by the way is pretty cool um, as you guys know I'm not really into touristy places I wouldn't really say this is a touristy kind of place but this is some old gas station from years past the historical papers a uh, little bit uh, damaged by I don't know weather essentially this thing was built in the teens or 20s it had two pumps one for ethyl one for gasoline and uh, this is one of the last remaining standing uh, gasoline filling stations. So that's pretty interesting. Oh, and there was no electricity, so everything was done by, all the light was done by kerosene. Looks like they had a very simple wood stove there. It just kind of makes me wonder what it looked like on the inside with beds or couches or whatever. Um, I would imagine in the summertime, it smelled like B.O. in here. <laughs> from the uh, hot Oklahoma summer days. There's counterfeiting going on here. Oh, that's right. Yeah. We forgot. There was counterfeit going on. What kind of counterfeit? Uh, Money, obviously, huh? Yeah. Like, they were making like $10 bills, I think. Oh, yeah. yeah fake fake $10, $10 bills. bills. Yeah. One, one of the people was arrested. There you go. Yeah. Interesting. So, uh, this is uh, the counterfeit uh, filling station here on uh, Route 66. So a mile or two west is a town called Arcadia. This is an old drugstore from uh, 1916. So not too far away from the pharmacy is the Round Barn. And here are some of the uh, pieces of old machinery. Uh, a road a road grader, early day road grader. What's this one? It's a lawnmower. Wow, cycle bar mower. It looks like, uh, looks like my beard and mustache trimmer, just on a bigger scale. This was a cultivator. You can barely see it right there. This one here is a planter. Not really sure how this uh, works. I know it's um, tied to your uh, ox and stuff like that. Bottom turning plow. I don't know what that even means. Um, <laughs> let's, uh, let's go in the round barn and see, uh, see what's in there. Metal rim maker for wooden spoked wagon wheels. Interesting. Corn sheller. Or some potato planter. <laughs> I think everybody knows what this is. This is not a telephone booth. This is uh, the good old outhouse. It's free to the public and you get free Wi-Fi. Here's a nice exterior shot of the round barn. When, you're, when you are in a very small town, something like a round barn from the early 1900s is a pretty exciting thing. an old butter churn next to the cream separator. Across the street from the round barn and this uh, cheap place where I filled up the gas tank is, uh, I don't know, this biker shack. Oh, also there is a tornado shelter right there, which is pretty cool. Um, pretty cool because I think that's the second tornado shelter I've seen in the past two days. Uh, we don't have those on the west coast. Um, 
But it looks, looks like this is either a rebuilt area or it is uh, an authentic old thing. I don't know, it says Hollywood right there. No trespassing sign right there. And uh, biker shack right there. There are a ton of no trespassing signs everywhere. And uh, I'm gonna guess and say that the new owners, which are right there, uh, are probably gonna renovate this whole area at some point. At least I would hope because it looks like a pretty old authentic place. So hopefully uh, this will become another stop through Arcadia and Oklahoma. You excited for a barbecue? Yes. How excited? Well, pretty excited for the <laughs> third day in a row. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna get a hog wild, hog wild barbecue. Uh, if this is an American, please comment below and let me know how more American this thing could be. Because to me, this is about as American as America gets. Alright, this is what we got at Hog Wild. We got a chopped brisket sandwich, smoked mac and cheese. And smoked and cheese and pulled pork nachos? Yeah. How are they? They're good? Oh. Let's see. I'm gonna have to try a little pulled pork. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Definitely good. A little bit smaller than the previous two that I had, but it's gonna taste great. I have a feeling. So after the second bite, I would put it in third place after the other two ah! barbecue places. What's going on over there? I just broke my chip and dropped everything. That happened. <laughs> Well, that's it for today. We parked the bus behind a, I don't know, Trading moccasin post. Cherokee <laughs> trading post <laughs> across the street from a Loves. Um, it just, I don't know, it might be kind of hard to see, but yeah. It's um, it's pretty quiet out here. It's pretty windy. I don't know. How was your day today, Claire? It was really good. Claire Bear. It was good. Claire Dactyl. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, by the way, met three really nice um, guys from Arkansas. Well, two guys in a row um, from Arkansas in the parking lot of loves. Hey guys, thanks for subscribing. Um, thank you for watching. We'll catch you guys back on the road tomorrow. Mm -hmm.